ChatGPT is one of the best technology that happened in the past few years. Have you wondered to train your own version of ChatGPT at your home using only one GPU? Now I think we are getting very close. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will be talking about one of the recent projects called NanoChat. NanoChat is a full stack implementation of a large language model like ChatGPT in a single clean repository. This is uh, including everything from the pre-training to post-training and then to solving the model. One drawback of it is that uh, it need uh, quite a lot of computing power. It need an uh, 8H100 GPU. Today I will be showing you how to use a single SOD90 GPU to run it. It turns out to be quite uh, simple. So make sure that uh, you have a Linux machine and uh, once you clone the repository to your local, there is a single bash script called uh, speedrun.sh. This is pretty much self-contained. So this one contains everything from the environment uh, setup. So quickly go through that. So here is the Python virtual environment solution. So this one is isolated. So don't need to mess up with your system. And then there is a uh, uh, 1DB. It is uh, a database that for logging all the trainings. So you can sign up it uh, free and then you can get uh, a API and then you need to log in. But it's not uh, necessary to add it. You can sk skip this part. Um, there is uh, the installation of the cargo, so which is a tokenizer. It's also included. And uh, it also then include all the like data set download. So this one will take uh, some time. And then there is the rest is pretty much the standard training, like from the pre-training to the post-training part. The part that's related to how much GPU is used, you can scroll down to the pre-training part. And then you can see that there is a flag called mproc node. So this one, so you can adjust this number. So if it's a two, that means it can run in two GPU. So you can decrease it to one, so it can run on one single GPU. Another part that you may need to modify is the device batch size. I think this is related to the uh, GPU's VRAM amount. So if you have a really big VRAM amount, you can in increase that. If you have a smaller VRAM, um, I think even 16 gigabytes, you can try to decrease it. So I think those are the only two. So so basically you can just uh, search for this uh, flag and modify it uh, accordingly. So that way I think uh, once you have it and save it, and then you can run it very easily. I have saved uh, the modified uh, script into uh, another new script and then we can use that. If your system have multiple GPU, for example, if we want to limit uh, to the first GPU, we can state that the CUDA visible device equal to zero. And then the second one is uh, if you use the one DB, you, you may want to uh, create a new project for that. So basically this is a name of the project, the D26 new. And then you can start running it, the bash speed run the SH. So because I modified the script, so I will new, use the new file name. All right, so now I can press enter to start it. So if this is the first time you're running it, you may need to spend some time for the Python environment installation. There are also quite a big uh, files needed to be downloaded. So for example here, because right now I already downloaded those in my previous uh, ROM, so I, they can skip that. 
all right. And here is uh, the GPU monitoring. So because we are limiting it to only one GPU, so here it is, the first one. We will take a look at that. We see some of the vocabulary comparison. It's right here. And it just shows us it's uh, start uh, the training. So um, I'm also opening uh, the monitoring here. So the first row is the GPU we'll be using. This is a uh, 3090. GPU, which has 24 gigabytes of VRAM, and it increased to 17 gigabytes out of the 24 gigabytes. Utilization is at 100 percent. And in the terminal, it will show us the progress. So I think it need a total is 21,400 steps, and it printed out each step the summary. The training loss here, there is uh, the speed, the tokens per second, and uh, it also includes the total time. So this one is the cumulated time. Using the cumulated time, you can do an uh, estimation about uh, how long it will take for the entire training. So in this case, I will do a simply math, and uh, turns out it need uh, 119 hours which equal to around uh, five days. So I think it's uh, still a uh, feasible range. You can run it at your home, just uh, let it run for five days, and you can have a mini chat GPT. Wow, what an accomplishment. However, I, I do not really recommend uh, you doing the pre-training. Instead, you can go to some of the trained results. So for example, you can go to this URL and check it out. But I think it can be a fun project, especially if you want to learn about uh, the large language model. You can modify it, you can improve it, you can build uh, upon it. So I think that's a really great project. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.